Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 26th of 2020. Well, it is titled hills, ridges and tracks on Mars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Curiosity rover. And we can see that down towards the lower portion of the image that is a part of the rover itself, and looking out over the landscape of Mars. And we can see the reddish color associated with the soil uh, due to oxygen and iron combining and giving an iron oxide and a reddish brown almost rusty color that we see in the surface rocks of Mars. Now off in the distance we can see a number of other features and in fact off to the far left we can see Vera Rubin Ridge uh, named after one of the discoverers of dark matter and we see that over there towards the shadows and that is a portion of the ridge that Curiosity had previously explored and you can actually see Curiosity's tracks as it moved from the ridge off to the left and heads down towards its current location. Now towards the center of the image we do see the central butte and that is the very flat topped object towards the center and that is another feature of of Mars that we see. And that had recently been studied by Curiosity just shortly before this image had been taken. Now off to the right hand side at the top of the image the much lighter coloring is Mount Sharp. Now Mount, Mount Sharp is the central peak of the Gale Crater and Curiosity it was landed within this crater. So everything that we're looking at here is part of a crater on Mars a very large crater that is being explored. The central peak is what happens in the impact. So in a large impact, the material rebounds back outward and the central peak at the center of the crater is that where that material will bounce back up. You can see a similar thing if you throw a rock into the water, the water splashes back up and gives kind of a peak there. Of course, water doesn't stay solid, so it disappears very quickly. But the similar thing happens with rock in a meteor impact. The intense impact shatters the rock and vaporizes uh, some materials and causes a rebound much like you would see with water in throwing a rock into the water. So the central peak this this five kilometer high about three mile high mountain at the center was caused by the impact that formed the Gale crater. Now hopefully by the end of the year a second rover will join Curiosity and that was due later this year. Um, you also have a chance to name that rover if you like. There uh, is a uh, survey going on right now and there's actually a link in the description to this that will take you to the NASA website where nine names have been proposed by various uh, school groups that have sent in essays for various names and there are the nine names and you get a chance to vote and NASA will use that as a consideration as to what to end up naming this rover that is due to arrive on Mars later this year. So if you're interested in that you can check out the description there and do that as well and have a chance to vote and put your, your, your own input in as to what the name of the new rover on Mars should be. So that was our picture of the day for January the 26th of 2020. It was titled hills, ridges and tracks on Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be evaporating comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.